but it's it's a real light color and it it's not like you, you can't get a lot from it but sometimes just a little bit of adding in with these pages with the fall color I've liked what it's done now with the green it's it's wanting to modify but I probably should have done it on some places before I did the other so right there there I kind of like like that just the way it is see right there it kind of comes through a little bit so there's one page now I'm going to set that to dry and like I say these these last few days I've just been having all these books going at the same time I work on one and then I work on another and just set it aside now maybe I'm going to show you let me find I can't, I can't remember what I did in which I liked the one in fact I'm going to do this on a cover oh well you know what let's do this Let's do this. Let's let's. This was uh, this is inspired by Allie Brown. The way she takes her new colors and kind of just I I add a little bit of my own. The way I do it, I, I run them together and whatnot because I like to see what they do together. Right there, that's your green gold. Then I'm gonna take this cobalt and come down here see it's really it's really light even though that's really juicy but but I do like the color you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring in this Schminka brilliant purple now this is the way I wish that cobalt violet more was like that isn't that beautiful See now, even here, this can still be the fall look. So there's the reddish colors out there and you get the sunsets. Now this is something that I started doing myself, um, just to mix them and kind of see what they do. Kind of adds a little bit more dimension to your page. And you can just take two colors and play with two colors. See what those two colors do by themselves and with a lot added to the second color or just a little bit. Don't want to waste any of this. Okay, now I'm going to bring in some more of that green gold. So my son has been here. He started his painting business. Can't believe this kid, how within a month He's pulling enough money to pay all his bills. He started up and his house sold in near Vegas. So they are actually packing up to come. They're going to leave out tomorrow. His family is seven and they'll be staying with us for, uh, for however long it takes them to get a place. So I've been trying to get my house ready for five kids. I live a quiet life. So that's uh, that's going to be interesting interesting now this is Holbein permanent green so I'm just gonna bring in a little bit of it just add a little bit more dimension to this page now another thing you can do you could just make these all not perfect but lines where you can journal on those those lines if you'd like Okay, now see there it's kind of blobby where this isn't as much so I think I'm gonna bring in some white over here break that up I didn't break it up too much I better get a smaller brush try to pull in some more of this brilliant Schmika this is Working with this one Schmincke color has made me want to buy the whole set. I went and priced them yesterday. Ooh, mercy, these are not cheap paints. But I just love the way they're so creamy. Okay, so I think I'm going to be finished with that page. I don't have 
paper towel, so I'm going to use one of my flower sacks here and just kind of dab that up a little bit right there. I bleached all my flower sacks yesterday and all my countertops and my sinks. And here I am using one for paint now. Okay, so that's my second page. And you can see, okay, so I thought I was starting out doing this. <laughs> this is my MO. This is what I do. Crazy lady. Okay, so now we'll, we'll do... We'll do one like this. So let's do the naphthamide maroon and the green gold. I'm not sure if I did a second color in there or not. Oh, just start and play. See what we come up with. Maybe I'll take a smaller brush. This one's a Da Vinci. It's the Petite Grouper Squirrel Mop Brush. Now the mop brushes hold a lot of water, which is what something that I really like. Okay, so we're going to go in with the green gold. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, there we go. I could do this all day. This is, this is just so therapeutic for me. If I'm stressed out, I just grab my paints and come in here and just start playing. Okay, now this one I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to a different mop brush. I I want a little bit more water. Okay, see this is making me want to come in with a, another color. Let's try the. This is my favorite yellow. The what is it? The tight nickel titanate. It looks awful light against this green gold though. Okay, let's see, what other color are we gonna, let's, you know what, we're gonna bring in some of these blues. And again, here again, I didn't think I would like this together. But, you know, that's, that's what's so fun about just doing this stuff. I mean, it's not like you're creating great art, but you, it's a great way to get to know your watercolors. And I liked um, buying from Artisticat, number one, she's just a delight to, to, to work with. And she pours all these, these pans herself and lets them dry. And they just come out so perfect where when I pour my own, it's kind of hilarious. But um, she, it takes them, I think about, I think it takes her about a week to, she told me to, get them poured and dried. I think she does it in layers, so you just have a really nice full half pan. And it's cheaper to do that. Maybe not in the long run it isn't, but you can buy more colors. Look at there what that's doing. That is so cool. Look at that. Okay, we gotta get some more of this uh, yellow in here to get more of that going. That is so cool. And this is what I'm saying where you just learn what your colors do. So we're going to put in some more of this maroon. But anyway, if, if you don't have any Daniel Smith, and you don't, you can use the, the lesser expensive um, collections from Michaels. Jane Davenport's a great one to start with. Even these little Prima water watercolor sets, you can get them pretty affordable on Amazon. Now I just bought the classics. I haven't opened it yet, and I'll, I'll be doing a review of that one. But those are great to start with too. Now the Pastel Dreams... They were pretty light. I mean, I liked some of them, but after using these colors here, oh my goodness, I just these are these are so vivid. So what I what I started doing was what I suggest doing. You know, if you're on a tight budget, just tell yourself, okay, I'm gonna buy one one a month, one tube a month until you build up. And I highly recommend starting with Daniel Smith's dot card where you can swatch out all the colors and see which ones you like. That's another video that I could do showing my dot card. And I go I go back to it all the time to, as far as to the ones that I want and I have a list going. Okay, now see there, that's just not what I planned at all. But I did learn that this Titanate Nickel Titanate 
goes awesome with this uh, naphthamine maroon. And you can keep going or you can stop. You know, you just decide how much you want. Now that right there got a little muddy, so I'm going to go and clean that up a little bit. Now I'm going to bring in another one of these blue colors. I don't think I did the real dark one. Oh, this is a light one. I love this light for bringing in the sparkle. And you know, some pages you may not like, and then you cover it up, cover it up with journal cards. <laughs> That's what I do. Although I must say, there's not too many of them I don't like. Now right there, that's getting a little bit muddy for me. Now you can take this page, and it's all lines right now, and you can go in and change that just by adding some water. Start playing with some color, which is what I think I'm going to do with this one. One thing about fall, the muddy colors, you know, there's a lot of brown out there. A lot of brown leaves on the ground. Let's see, I think I can take some more maroon over here. So I've had a very creative week. I, I just love weeks like this week. I haven't been able to film the last couple weeks, like I say, because I've had my son here. But I've just been taking the time. I'm working on my studio, getting it cleaned up, which is a job. I wonder if anyone else's studio gets as messy as mine. See there how that changed? Now, there's still a couple lines showing, which I'm not sure about. So let's bring in this whole line crimson and see what it does. But anyway, I'm doing my fall cleaning. Yesterday I worked on windowsills and uh, blinds. I'm not done there, but this is a Van Gogh color. But I'm determined to get this house cleaned. My 